Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to Shadow Radio. Today, your host, Amanda Sperry, will be interviewing Brett Sperry. We hope you guys have a wonderful day and appreciate, don't forget, like, subscribe. Definitely helps the channel grow. We appreciate each and every single one of you. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm doing all right. Uh, how's your day going? Uh, it's going pretty well, thanks. Um, so, uh, what really sparked your interest with spirits? That was off the wall. Um, well, um, let me see here. When I was a child, I had several experiences, and that's what really sparked my interest, I guess, per se, with spirits. Uh, more or less, it was less like I was at places that had a lot of history to them, I should say. And um, I seen things that I couldn't explain and other people had also had sort of the same same things happen, you know. Mm-hmm. So I've always sort of been around, around, I guess, per se, spiritual activity, I guess is the best word for so it. So basically you grew up in an, or around it, so to speak? Yeah, okay. pretty much. Like, I've always just been, just been around it, you know, mm-hmm. um... That's I, I really just right. I feel like, I feel like you know when I got older, I just felt like you know that connection. Instead of it just wearing away, it just sort of stayed and lingered. Wasn't as strong, you know. Yeah, I do. Because I really do. because with age, it seems like, it seems like you're no you're able to notice things differently and perception wise mm-hmm. as a child compared to an adult, you know, and so. Those things that you experience as a child, you experience as a teenager, you experience as a grown grown adult. Three yeah. people could experience the thing, and in the end, the same thing, and in the end, have different experiences on the outcome. Yes, they can. Very true. So, so but. So, uh, what got you started with uh, mystical shadows? Oh, yeah. Um, well, my wife, actually, obviously, uh, we, we talked about it previously, and we just decided at that moment in time, we thought it would be in our best interest to actually go forth and try to capture what we're able to find at places and see if they truly are haunted or if it's just a hoax or something along those lines to bunk it and you know more or less figure out the history of the location make sure that all the facts are in place and we we decided to start the group in order to seek the truth to whether or not to whether or not spirits and demons and things like those exist and um, we can you know Mm -hmm. Um, so, like, who are part of Mystical Shadows 402, please? Um, well, we have a pretty decent-sized group behind the scenes. Um, a lot of supporters, what it comes down to is family. We, uh, we like to stick with family just because it's all, it's all a good source. You don't have to worry as much, I feel like, without having certain people involved i just right now it's me and trey Mm -hmm. trey and i are related and uh obviously me and you yeah and you know with will she's my she's my foster sister she's she's also related yeah she, you know, those are investigators, researchers right there. Right. Merchandiser and researchers. My mom, she's she's the new merch accountant. She's going to be working on our merch products, which reminds me we're going to be having a huge merch drop coming out. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be having uh, beanies, shirts, hoodies, and uh, a couple other things, I think, um... Uh, we were talking about doing like tumblers, magnets, stickers, and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe pens and stuff. Oh, that'd be cool. Right. Sounds fun. 
Um, so later on in the future, as you guys progress, uh, do you guys plan on getting a few more investigators or are you going to like collab with other teams or? Um, yeah, actually, we're going to be doing some collaborations going on in the future. And I do want to add another investigator at some point in time. Uh, whether that's right now, I don't know. But I right. would like to add one full-time investigator, someone who can investigate with us more full-time. Um, and, yeah, I I would have to say, though, collaborations are what we're looking forward to more in the near future. And uh, we'll work out getting another member here down the road. All right, that sounds very, very good. So, like, when you are um, investigating and stuff, are you guys going to do what uh, other people uh, are doing, like, pot, uh, like giveaways or uh, meeting up with them and taking them on investigations? Or uh, Yeah, we actually, we've talked a little bit about it, and we're going to be having a giveaway, a merch giveaway, when we do that merch drop I was just talking about. Uh, we're going to be having a merch giveaway, and then I think I think uh, we're going to be doing another giveaway towards the end of summer for if you buy the merch, you'll be able to enter your name into a drawing to go on an investigation with us overnight at nice. a haunted location. That sounds nice. Um, what was your first experience in the supernatural okay so i don't i don't know if i had an experience before this experience but this is my first experience that i 100 percent remember okay and i was probably seven eight years old i was out at my aunt's farm in nebraska and it happened to be a farm that was in our family for a while and uh, I was in my cousin's room, and at the time, I think she was babysitting, but she wasn't in the room, and I was going to bed. It was nighttime, you know? Yeah. And uh, I'm laying in bed, and I look over towards the closet. You know, every every kid is afraid of the dark or has something that, <laughs> yeah. you know, that creeps them out, you know? And so I looked over towards the closet because I thought I heard something. And I put the blanket above my head, okay? And at this moment in time... She's either downstairs in the living room or she's outside. Okay. Okay. And my aunt's probably sleeping or something, you know. Yeah. Like everyone's asleep or outside or in the living room. You know, no right. one is in that closet. So right. <laughs> blankets over my head. And a couple minutes, a couple minutes probably pass and I slowly start to peek out, maybe maybe a minute or so, slowly start to peek out of the blanket. And, uh, you know, didn't notice anything, so I just sort of snug back down and I'm laying there for a second and I feel some pressure on the end of the bed. So I'm thinking, oh, it's probably an animal, dog, or, you know. Right. And uh, uh, it was uh, apparition one night. 